uh, if a train travels at 40 miles per hour for a period of 45 minutes... Right, Stamper. Yeah? Percy been here yet? No, I haven't seen him. Anybody been here looking for him? Hey, Looking for him? Here. Yeah. Has anyone come along inquiring after him? No. Not while I've been here. I was just trying to work out this sum. What sum? On the blackboard there. See? Where? Oh. If a train travels at 40 miles... We're going to have arithmetic today. What'll you bet? Bet? How do you mean? I bet we don't have any school today. No school? Why? Never mind why. You wait and see. I, I bet you we don't. Well, Percy's written those sums on the blackboard. Yeah, I know, but that won't make any difference. Oh, hey? boy, is this going to be any good? Wacko! What are you talking about? Well, what's the good of telling you? You'd only tell Percy. No, I won't. What is it? You wait. Be patient, my boy. Be patient. All will be revealed. Strike. What have you done? Done? Who, me? Now, Stanford, you don't think I'd do anything to disturb the class, do you? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, but what is it this time? Well, if you won't tell anybody, I... Oh, 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 look, it's Dr. Pym. Yes, how it is. Yeah. Yes, well, good morning, boys. Good morning, sir. Good morning, boys, and go on, Bottomy. Yeah. Huh? Go on. Yes, what's this big secret you're about, you're going to tell Stanford? Secret, sir? Yes, secret. As I came in, you said you'd tell Stanford something that, uh, if, if he wouldn't disclose it, I assume to me. What do you mean, sir? You know very well how I mean. Uh, but you don't go bird nesting, do you, sir? Of course I do, every afternoon. I go out after Spoggies. And... Uh, no, did it bird nesting? Yeah, I was uh, going to tell him where some bird's nests were. Uh, that's all a secret was, sir. Oh, and what's so secret about that? Oh, well, oh, I didn't want him to tell... Well, tell who? Uh, Mr. Snoodles. Mr. Snoodles? Yeah, you know, the school caretaker. He's keen on bird nesting. Mr. Snoodles is? Yeah, you must remember him. Who, Mr. Snoodles? Yes, he talks like that. Yes, I know. Now, look, all right, Bottomy, there's no need to start that ridiculous way of speaking in. I thought we'd finished with that. Ah. Huh. Yes, oh, and talking of Mr. Snoodles, he was out in the yard when I came in talking to some man. Man, sir, was he? Uh, yes, and I sincerely hope the man doesn't come in and disturb our lesson today. Because I prepared a lot of work on arithmetical problems. Yes, sir. Right, well, look at the blackboard and we'll do the first problem. Uh, Here now, it is, sir. Uh, oh, oh, strike. It's only Greenbottle. Yeah. yeah. Well, look, hurry up, Greenbottle. Come over here and sit down in your place. And bottle me. Yeah? You know this man out in the yard? No, sir. Oh, I didn't even know he was there. Oh, well, you seem very disappointed to know it was only Greenbottle and not him. No, I didn't, sir. Oh. Yes, well, it's me. All right, I can see that. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, hello. How are you? No, uh, Greenbottle. Yes? I'm going to give you the stick today every time you say anything ridiculous. So just pay attention and only speak when you're spoken to. What's that? Yes, yeah, mice. Mice? No, it's somebody at the door. Oh, so that man is going to annoy us. Yeah. Come in. Yeah, no, look, stop out. The, uh... That's not your man. The... Oh, no. Mummy said, will you give me a ten-shilling note because I might lose the silver? Oh, yeah, certainly. I'd hate you to lose the... I mean, probably silver? Ten-shilling note? What for? For the eggs. Oh, the eggs. Yes, I'd forgot. What eggs? Mummy said I had to bring these two dozen eggs down here. Did she? What? Two dozen eggs? Yes, and she said you'd pay ten shillings for them. Who, me? Ten shillings for two dozen eggs? Yes, perhaps they're ostrich eggs. Yes, are they ostrich eggs? No, the, the green bottle. Yes? Will you kindly mind your own business? There's obviously some little mistake here that there's got to be straightened out. Who told your mummy that I would pay ten shillings for the eggs? I don't know. No. Bottomly? Yeah? Do you know anything about this? Uh, oh, me? Yes, you. No, sir. Oh, I didn't even know you wanted any eggs at all. No, and neither I do. But did you send this little girl here? No, sir. Ah. No, Mummy sent me. Yes, well, uh, it... It wasn't Rupert. Rupert? Who's Rupert? Rupert Bottomley. Oh, I see you know Rupert. Oh, I'm down, Rupert. But well, can I help it if I'm called Look, Rupert? Keep quiet. I don't want to give you boys the stick in front of this little girl, but I will if you don't keep quiet. Yes. And bottom me, do you know this little girl? Uh, yeah, she lives on our street. And did yours, uh, did, did you tell her mother that I wanted to buy some eggs? No, sir, I haven't seen her mother for about a fortnight. Ah. Yes, uh, Mummy only said this morning that she hadn't seen Rupert for weeks. Oh, I see. Yeah, there but, you are, sir. Yes, well, look, I can't understand it. Listen, little girl, you, you go home and tell your mother that she's made a mistake, and I don't want to buy any eggs. Yes, well, Mummy told me to get ten shillings. Yes, well, so she might have, but your mother must have sent you to the wrong place. Don't you reckon you ought to buy them, sir? Huh? Yes, it's only ten shillings. Is it? Well, well, look, will you boys mind your own business? How many more times do you want to be told that? Uh, look, and you just run along, little girl. I, I'm trying to give these boys a lesson. Oh, yes, well, goodbye, mister. Goodbye, girlie. Goodbye, Rupert. Oh, Rupert. Oh, Rupert. 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 Listen, will you? Now. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, and bottle. Oh, oh, oh. 
Serves you right, Green Bubble. Yeah. Serves you right. And, and, look, I warned you about that sort of thing before, but it makes no difference at all. Yes, but Bottomley shouldn't bring his sweet aunt to school. No, I... Uh... I swear to... Look, keep quiet, Bottomley. And Green Bottle... Green Bottle is quite right. You've got no right to bring your sweetheart to school. Oh, now, don't be able to get on when she's not my this, sweetheart. I... <laughs> well, even if she's not, there's no need to talk like that. I, I'm entitled to a little respect. Bottomley, Bottom 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 will you... Bottom <laughs> There now, Green Bottle. Perhaps that'll keep you quiet. You were the ringleader of that little episode, and if, and if you don't know how to behave yourself, it's my duty to see that you do. Now keep quiet and stop behaving like an orangutan. Yes, no, no. I am not. Green Bottle. Yes? I don't want any arguments. All I want is your attention. Now look at the blackboard, all of you. She's back. Uh, look, tell that little girl to go away. Sure. Yes, come in. No, look, go away. You wait, Bottomley, you wait. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, and who on earth is this? Ah, uh, this is Dr. Pym, yes? Yes, I'm Dr. Pym, yes. Ah, uh -huh. and you buy the eggs, yes? No, I don't buy the eggs, yes. Ah, uh, you joke with me. Huh? You are what you call it, a funny man, huh? No. Yes, now... Listen, just a minute. What is this? Who are you? Me? I am the Scalotti. Scalotti? Scalotti, who sent it the most beautiful steak and the eggs. Well, that's very nice. I... Yeah, but from now on, I know selling the steak and the eggs. Just the steak. The... No eggs. I sell all of the eggs to you. Well, that's jolly decent of What? I have it for you, the six a dozen. Yes, but, but, but look, what are you talking about? He's selling the eggs to you. Bottomley, hold your tongue. He's keeping the market close. The... He wanted to sell it. Listen. The eggs. <laughs> Yes, and serves you right, Green Bottle. You keep it the mouth of the clothes, too, as you call it. Look, I don't know what this is all about, but I'm very soon going to find out. Mr. Front Lobby, the Scrub Lobby, is it? Scalotti. Scalotti. What on earth are you driving at? I bring for you the six a dozen of the eggs. Oh, did you? Well, look, I'm a schoolmaster, not an incubator. Incubator? Yes, I, I, I don't want six dozen eggs. Please, so what's an incubator? Well, it's one of those... What? Step. Would it be asking too much of you to just keep quiet? I only wanted to know what an incubator was. Ah. Well, an incubator is simply a thing that you put eggs in. Like a frying pan. Like a frying pan. Or... No! But, I mean, mind your own business. You don't put eggs in a frying pan at all. Uh -huh, you... you crack at another joke, yes? Yes, I'll crack you in a minute. And I certainly didn't crack a joke. What? No joke? No. But you put the eggs in the frying pan. Do you? Eighty-five times a day I crack at the eggs and put him in the frying pan. All right, all right. Nobody said you didn't. But you say you're not putting the egg in the frying pan. Will you... Now will you keep quiet? What on earth going on in this classroom? I'll, I'll put you all in the frying pan if you're not very careful. Well, you give me the money for the eggs, yes? Yes. Now, money? What money? You pay a five a shilling for the dozen of the eggs. Oh, do I? Well, I don't. You don't? No, I don't. Oh, you don't. Yes, he don't. <laughs> Perhaps that might remind you to keep out of it. No, I don't. Then why you put the advertisement in the paper? Why you do it there? Paper? Advertisements? The paper? She say you pay her the five a shilling for the dozen eggs. Me? That's what she say. How does she? Well, she's wrong because I don't. What? You know pay five shillings? No, definitely not. Then what's you pay, huh? Well, pay? I won't pay anything. You pay nothing? Nothing. Huh. Then you know get her the eggs. Th yes, well, I don't want her the eggs. Then why you advertise in the paper? I didn't advertise in the papers. The papers? She say you pay her the uh, five a shilling well, for look, the Well, I don't care what the paper said. It's a mistake. You've got the wrong person. Wrong person? Yeah. The paper, she say Dr. the Pim. Well, it must be another Dr. Pim, because I certainly didn't advertise in any uh, for any eggs. Come in. Yes, come in. No, boss me, I'll give you... Oh, Serves you right for inviting all these people into my classroom. Uh, Dr. Pim? Yes, that's me. Just sign here, please. Certainly. What, what the full name or just initials? Oh, no, you just do one by the Keep quiet. Yes. Look, uh, would you people please leave this classroom immediately? I can't go until this is signed. No, I, I don't suppose. Until what sign? Oh, this delivery note. Oh. What? We, we can let you have four gross. Four gross? Guaranteed new laid every one of them. The, the... This man's selling eggs, sir. Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. I didn't ask for any comments, Stanford. I come before this man. Did you? Yes, and you buy a my six a dozen before you take a his. Yes, well... Uh, but I understood you want as many as you can get. Oh, yes, of course. But, but... So I go and get that little girl back. She had two dozen. Yes, I wonder if you'd mind. No, look, stay where you are, Bottomy. Uh, look... What are you doing here? The firm sent me. What firm? Foster's Butter and Egg Factory. Uh, and they sent you here to sell me eggs? Yes. Yes, well, I don't want any. But you advertised. I did not advertise. It was in the paper. I don't care what was in the paper. But I've got a load outside. Well, leave them outside. You mean to say you're not buying any eggs? That's exactly what I mean to say. Oh, well, you'll hear about this. Oh, will I? Well, I've heard quite enough about it already. We had to pack the lorry and bring it down here. Yes. There's uh, my time. There's the driver. Uh, that means money, you know. Well, I don't care what it means. Well, why? 
advertised. I didn't advertise. I told you that. It said Dr. Pim of St. Percy's School. Did it? Yeah, I tell you, the famous he say of that. Shut up. Yeah? yeah I, I can't uh, be... You tell me to shut up, uh, huh? Yes, uh, I, I did. That's exactly what I did say to you. Yeah, well, you, well you'll, you'll hear about this. Now, will I? Yeah, You're yeah, wasting my time. I'll yeah. go and see the paper office. Yeah, I come too. Yeah, well, look, both of you go. If that was in the paper, it was a mistake. And it's and it's and it was not my fault. It's the fault of the paper. But but I'm not concerned where the fault lies. I definitely do not want any eggs. Why, sir? Well, it... Now! Serves your right, Stephen. And will you people please get out of this classroom or I'll call the police. I'm going. Good. I'm going straight to the paper no. office. It's only across the road. You'll hear more about this, I oh, tell you. All right, well, go on. And, and, and so to, to you, Mr. Scallop. Scallop, lopsided, whatever your name is. Scalotti. Yes. Yes. Yes, what? Yes, well, Scaram Scalotti. Yes, Scaram Scalotti. I go, but not to forget. I come away. Yes, well, you can do what you like as far as I'm concerned. And, and just a minute, I'll lock this door. I won't have any more of those people in here. Oh, oh no, 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 have completely ruined this lesson. Yes, it's a rock play they have. Well, right? stop talking and see if we can't do some work in the little time that we've got left. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Right, the first problem on the blackboard. Come in. Yes. No! That's no! Just... Oh! And that's about the third time I've had to do that. And what's more, they can't get him because I've locked the door. I, 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 uh, There's uh, somebody knocking, oh, sir. What a brain. Well, I'll soon fix this. I do not want any eggs. I don't care what you read in the papers. It was a mistake. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning, boys. Now, look, stay where you are. I wasn't talking to you, and we haven't finished yet by any manner of means. Ah. Yes, yeah, so, uh, and bottom it. Yeah? Are you sure you didn't tell these people to come here? I? Yeah. No, sir. Oh, I've never seen these blokes before in my life. Haven't you? No, sir. No, well, well, well I, I can't understand it. There's obviously been some mistake somewhere. And it's a pity our time has been wasted like this, but we're certainly not to blame. No, no sir. No, well, we must be, uh, we must at least do one problem before we can go. No, no sir. Oh, uh, yes, sir. sir. Yes, well, look at the first one here on the blackboard. Yes. Yeah. Yes, what? Yes, well, my old man could probably let you have some eggs. Could he? Yes, he keeps pigeons. Yes, well, find the drink. I do, do not want any eggs, you idiot, and you know it. And the next boy who mentions eggs will be made an example of. I've had quite enough of this. Come in. Yes, come in. What? <laughs> Don't you understand a plain English sentence, Bottomy? What's the matter with you? Oh, oh, look. Oh, answer that door, Green Bottle. Yes, sir. Sure, right. There's going to be serious trouble over this too. I'll, I'll go and see. I'll go and see these paper people myself. There won't be any need to do that. I've already seen them. Oh, I see. And here's the original advertisement lodged by you last night. By me? Advertisement? Show me. There. What this? Uh, what's this? Say? Announcement extraordinary. St. Percy's School will pay five shillings a dozen for eggs. New apply school. Bring eggs with you. Any number. What? It was lodged on your behalf. Well, I didn't lodge it. Isn't this your writing? No, of course it's not. That's Bottomley's writing. Oh, Bottomley? Who's Bottomley? He's one of my pupils. Somebody has obviously tried to play a practical joke on... What? Wait a minute. minute. Bottomley! Bottomley! Uh, yes? Speak to me! Speak to me! Uh, speak to you? Yes! Yes, yes uh, tell him a story! Sure. Oh, well, what about a time? Listen, I'm I'm free. Oh, oh, it was you, you young oh, rascal! Oh, I should have known! No, no, no. Oh, Putting an advertisement in the paper. Oh, what next will you get up to? Th- that's almost criminal, that is. Yes, come in. Yes, come in. No, did it? Oh, what's the use? It's Mr. Stoughton. All right, I can see that. Well, what do you want? I saw your advertisement in the paper. Yes, so did everybody, apparently, except me. I knew you wouldn't want to be disturbed in the classroom. No, and neither I did. No, so I bought these on your behalf. What? Ten dozen eggs. What? Good morning, boys. Good morning, sir. Good morning, boys. You owe me two pounds ten. Oh, do I? 